have expected it to be made of wood. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. When you marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Is this a dream? No. I thought not. If it were, they'd be wrong. Did no one come to save me just because they missed me? Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, mate. So I decided to create this look for you guys. I can't wait to <laughs> surprise my husband when he comes back from work. I really wonder what he's gonna say. I don't know, but we shall find out. If you guys need more ideas on what to dress up for Halloween or for a costume party or whatever, I have a whole playlist on my channel with a bunch of Halloween looks. So I will link a few of them down below so you guys can go check it out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. So click that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm a little under the weather, so if I sound weird throughout this voiceover, that is why. Alrighty, so to start off, I'm going to prime my face with this Cover FX Blurring Primer. Then for foundation, I decided to use a more tanner one. This one is the Benefit Oxygen Wow Foundation. It doesn't have the name of the shade on it, but I believe this is the beige shade. And I'm just going in very lightly with a wet beauty sponge because I just want to tint the skin. I don't want like a full on cake face, you know? And make sure you drag this shade all the way down to your neck. Now I'm setting the foundation down with this Physician's Formula Cover Talks 10 face powder so that we can start contouring. Contouring is the key to achieving this look. So to do this, I'm using the contour shades in the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette and I'm slowly starting to chisel my nose into a smaller, more angular shape. And I'm using this photo as a reference. As you can see, his nose has a slightly crooked, arrow-looking tip so that's what I'm going for. To help me achieve this look, I'm using this small angled liner brush from Essence. This was only like one or two dollars from Ulta. Highly recommend. And to make sure the contour looks a little bit more natural, make sure you take your time to blend it out. I then went in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey and applied this to the areas I wanted to bring forward and brighten up. Back to the contouring, I'm using the same contour shades and I'm trying to draw out higher cheekbones and a sharper, more masculine jawline like Johnny Depp's. At this point, I noticed I did not cover up my beauty spots, so I went in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and then set those spots down with some banana powder. My main beauty spot refused to be covered up, so I added more concealer and decided to bake that spot with more banana powder. If you do have birthmarks on your face like me, then definitely cover them up before you apply the foundation and powder. Anyways, while my beauty mark was baking, I went ahead and filled in my brows. In the reference picture, Jack Sparrow's eyebrows were actually covered, so I just googled pics of Johnny Depp's eyebrows. His eyebrows aren't as bushy as most guys, but they are bigger and straighter than mine. So that is what I tried to copy using this brown liner and some brow powder. Moving on to the eyes, I took this black shadow from my Lorac Pro 2 palette and smudged it close to my upper and lower lash lines. In the movie, Sparrow's eyeliner looks more greasy, so I took my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and applied it on my waterline, tight line, and I also smudged it really close to my upper and lower lash line. Going back in with the black eyeshadow, I set down the liner and I also shaped my eyes like Sparrow's in the reference picture. My eyes are a lot bigger than his, so I went a little heavier with the black liner to make my eyes look smaller and closer together. Now for the scars on his face, I am first going in with a pink lip liner and just tracing out the shape first. 
I can't remember the name of it, but the exact name of this lip liner as well as all the products I use in this video will be listed in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. After using the pink lip liner, I went back in with a brown liner and then a red lip liner over that to give the scar more dimension and more of a realistic look. I also used a little bit of brow powder to add some shading to the scars. So if you want to be super precise with the scars, Jack Sparrow actually has the scars on the right side of his face. But it was easier for me to do the mirror image, so yeah, just a heads up. Moving on to the lips, Sparrow's lips are a bit narrower than mine, so I reshaped my lips using a bit of concealer and then shaded my lips with first a pink lip liner and then a brown liner pencil. He also has these facial folds, so I mimicked them by using more of my brow powder. And make sure you really blend these lines out or else your face ends up looking old. And here I'm just dusting away that powder I was baking my beauty spot with. Okay, so I got this beard set from Spirited Away and it looked so horrible even after I tried trimming it down, so instead I decided to draw on the facial hair. I first started by tracing out the general shape of the mustache with a brown liner. And with my small angled brush, I dipped into my brow powder and started creating hair-like brush strokes. I also went in with a little bit of black shadow as well to create more depth to the beard. Yeah, I was a little impressed with myself here. <laughs> the best thing to do when trying to paint on facial hair is to first lightly map out the placement with a liner or shadow and then fill in the facial hair. Just a warning, this process takes forever. So just have patience and take your time. I know that you can easily just paint in the beard, but doing the individual brush strokes makes the beard look a lot more realistic. So I did a little costume change, but I wanted to show you the bottom half of the beard. And again, it looks absolutely horrible. So I snipped off the braids and hot glued the top of the braids so that they wouldn't come undone. Then using this little spirit glue kit I got, I glued on the braids underneath my chin. This took a while because the braids were quite heavy, so make sure you hold the braids in place for several minutes while the glue is drying. I finally got the braids to stick, and now I am very carefully applying the wig cap and trying my best to avoid ripping off the braids I just glued down. And finally, I just popped on the wig as the finishing touch to my Captain Jack Sparrow inspired look. This wig wasn't the best, it's actually from Walmart. Um, I had to use a lot of bobby pins to kind of make it look how it was looking. But if you can find a better wig, I would definitely suggest you do that. And also, Captain Jack Sparrow has brown eyes, so if you have brown contacts or naturally brown eyes, then I would definitely go for that as well. All right, mateys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.